Hey everybody, this is Josh from Triple Threat Artist. I've got a, uh, a new quick tip for you for this week. So what I'm working on is a, a song that has a, a little uh, two or four bar section, I forget now, uh, before the second verse. So we've got our chorus, and then it's going to do this little break, and then a second verse. So let's take a listen here. This is the end of the chorus. Chasing the sun, we won't stop till we're done, cause we're crazy. So really what I'm focusing on right here is just this little section. So it sounds fine, but it also sounds like it's kind of lagging in energy. There's, it's just a, the only thing that's really keeping interest is just those like foot stomps there. So I wanted to add just a little bit of something extra to, to kind of give it a lift to set up that second verse a little bit better. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new a new track just an empty track here and we are going to select this piano chord that happens right at the beginning here and that's all it's doing so we're going to copy that and then we're going to bring it right down here and we're going to paste all right and then what we're going to do is in Pro Tools, we go up to Audio Suite, Other, and then Reverse. And we just make sure that the, the waveform is selected, and then we hit Render, and it reverses it. So what that's going to do is that's going to create a little lift, a little riser into the into this verse is going to give something of interest to listen to. So what I'm doing right now as I'm talking is I'm just lining up the end of this uh, piano waveform with beat one of the verse. You, you can kind of see there's a yellow line here that represents beat one of where the verse starts. I'm just going to put a little EQ compression on it from this track up here. Now let's listen. To it. Till we're done cause we're crazy. So it gives this, I'm going to turn it up a bit more than what I would normally do so you can really hear it. So you can kind of hear it swell into it. So let's hear before. Right? Without it, it just kind of like just stays. It just stays kind of vanilla, but with it. It really gives that kind of like tension and then it releases into the into verse two, which I think is a small but helpful thing. And you can do this all over the place. You can do it really it works well with things that have long sustains, long tail. It works really well with crash cymbals, uh, gu uh, guitar chords, piano chords, just anything that has like a long tail to it at the end. You can select those and reverse them. Um, yeah, so I think that's that's it. I hope this was helpful and uh, inspires you to reverse up what you've got. <laughs>